this new shit crusade new wave new drip to pay they trip suitcase my name what is up guys it is mcd at wcr and i'm back today with another reaction we're back on stray kids today i'm gonna check out another video off their new album eight or is it ate because it's all in capital letters so it kind of reads like ate but i'm gonna call it eight because that makes more sense before we get started just want to give a quick shout out to 143 chuvan uh, i don't know how you're pronouncing that thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your comments and your feedback i don't know how to pronounce your youtube name but if i click on the profile your name is beth thank you beth for watching right so let's get on with it if you're new to the channel smash that like and subscribe button because it really helps me out and without further ado let's check this one out this is stray kids with stray kids stray kids stray kids Okay, so it's straight away with that synth, it's more trancey. It's got a bit more of a trance, dancey kind of melody to it, which is cool. Okay, so yeah, sonically with the drums there, it's much more dance, sort of drum and bassy. The on the uh, hi-hats there, giving it a very dance break kind of feel. So yeah, a bit different. It's uh, not, I'm used to these guys usually having a hip hop sound. So having more of a dance sound is interesting. And we got Felix here starting us off with some lovely soft singing actually. It's, it's again a new thing for me to not hearing him do that crazy low register. This is much softer. Still Hey, Elevator. So this is like a, well, that was one of their first tracks, right? So this is kind of like a, a memory dump or throwback to their early years and with some shots of them looking crazy young as well. So, okay. Yeah, cool. It's cool to hear that referenced again. Elevator is a great track. I loved it. I remember it well. Gang vocals. Is that the um the, hang on. The, hey, is that the the bus from District Nine as well? That's cool. So yeah, I'm, I think I'm right. It's like a a journey back in time, kind of chronologically documenting their years together as a band. And this hook's cool. It's got gang vocals on there, like call and response. Things like this would sound massive live because you'd have the guys doing the singing and then the audience would do the stray kids bit. So yeah, really, really, really cool. I'm enjoying it so far. Let me go back. Stray kids. Okay, there. I know that their kind of image is quite squeaky clean. I wish they'd have said, yeah, we don't give a fuck there. Like, I get it. I get why they wouldn't. And I get why artists don't have cuss words in their songs and stuff. You know, you don't need to swear, really. You know, some people prefer clean lyrics and stuff, and that is absolutely fine. Like, I, I respect their decision to do it, but I feel like occasionally the odd F-bomb just hits really hard for emphasis. I mean, it's personal opinion. Like, I, I feel like I, I would have liked that. I think it would have landed really hard, but I get why they do it, you know? Like, not everybody thinks profanity is cool, and, it, and I mean, I guess it isn't. It's kind of meaningless at the end of the day. The song still hits just as hard without it. But yeah, I like this hook a lot. Falsetto. 
I love the synth in the background as well, though. Oh. So we got some what I like to call woes or some background woe vocals. Uh, they were made very, very fashionable and popular by sort of scene bands of the time, like 30 Seconds to Mars and Bring Me the Horizon and stuff like that. And they're also great for huge stadiums, like where you get the whole crowd just chanting that. It, I mean, it's easy to sing back and it just sounds huge. It's just a very, very modern staple of like that rocky sort of scene, scene scene from about 2000 and I don't know, eight to 2013. It's just a cool sound. It sounds absolutely enormous. You know, it's, it's anthemic, it's huge. There's his low register, and here comes the rap in. Oh, that's a bar. <clears throat> Sorry, let me go. Let me go back. That's quite a bar, isn't it? I think that's quite profound. I don't think I sold my youth. I lived in a dream that can't be bought. Now that says to me, I didn't waste my youth doing music and always working and stuff like that i lived in a dream that can't be bought that says to me like these experiences with stray kids and within the music industry and stuff like that it's priceless you know it's an experience he's lived and enjoyed that you can't buy it, it is absolutely priceless and timeless no regrets he has absolutely no regrets that's how i interpret that line anyway could be wrong you may interpret it different but yeah this is this is a banging little track it's it's really cool to hear a more like dance vibe you know there's an acoustic guitar in there now as well Great kids, great kids, we can imagine a crowd just singing that back. Whoa. Not in my horrendous voice, but you get the idea. This hooks so good. Stray kids. Do you know what? I like this so much that I'm going to bring out the horse. I bring out the horse, you know it's a banger. Stray kids still gonna rock it yeah, with elevator. Yeah, we head to the top. Straight up. Oh, never mind. Ignore me. That was that was my bad. And here they are getting off the elevator to embark on the next stage of their journey together. ominous so yeah that was stray kids by stray kids i really really liked that i it's weird because i swear i haven't heard much about that track in particular it's a feel-good track man it made me feel good it's positive energy it is channeling those nostalgic thoughts it's just a lovely song about their journey together as friends and family really their family to each other and the stray kids fandom the stays just it's it's basically saying look we're gonna keep going we're gonna do whatever we want and i hope you guys are along for the ride and it's just really cool to see those throwbacks to like elevator and district nine i'm sure there are other throwbacks in there for tracks i haven't seen yet so they would have gone Whoosh. but no nah, it was really cool to hear that dancey kind of break beat 
drum and bass rhythm to it and um slight slightly rocky and it had those big whoa vocals that um are very commonplace in anthemic rock tracks and it was it was just good man it was just a feel good track it made me happy it made me smile on this friday morning yeah as as the top comment says on youtube actually this feels like a hug from an old friend and i you know i have i didn't even know stray kids existed before this year but because i've spent a lot of time with them I do feel like a connection to them so it is it does feel it's like a warm hug reminding you of the journey you've been on with them so far and for you guys obviously it's a lot more intense and a lot more involved because you know all their songs I only know a handful a brief selection but I want to get to know more so I'm gonna keep going I will probably I think they've got one more single off this album um, so I'll probably check that out next and then we'll we'll go right back to look at some of their older stuff and and maybe some of their stuff as solo members too so let me know where you want me to go next in the comments and thank you for rocking with me today guys enjoy your weekend and take care of yourselves i will catch you on the next one peace who this new shit crusade new wave new drip toupee they trip 